Welcome back to the Air Canada Centre. The Leafs and the Blue Jackets and the rubber robbers of the revolving residences tonight. James Reimer, who is 6-3-0 at the Air Canada Centre this season, starts for Toronto. Sergei Bobrovsky has played twice here at the ACC, winning with Philadelphia 7-1. And his last trip in here, they shut out the Leafs 6-0 behind Bobrovsky. Well, these two teams so far when they have met, it's been a bit of a track meet. And one of the things that the Toronto Maple Leafs have to do tonight is make sure they're much better defensively. And, of course, the big light line has been good. And they continue to need the production from them. That's stating the obvious. Good is an understatement. Yep. <laughs> Tremendous. And they have been on fire. So here we go. I'm glad you're along with us here on Sportsnet. As it is brought by Savard to the center ice area. Turned over there. And Gardner banks it ahead at center. McClement dashes in on the right side with a backhand that went wide to the net. Near side for Matt Calvert trying to play it up the boards. It bounces off his skate, and it'll be brought to center ice by Jack Johnson. Ahead it goes to Calvert again and in across the line. And Cody Franson is able to take it away from him. Gardner, a quick up for McClement, pushed down into the zone to allow a change of players. And it'll be Murray going back behind the Blue Jackets goal and starting out. He drops it back, and it's played ahead into the center ice area by Wisniewski. Carl Gunnarsson taken to the boards. And our starting lineups brought to you by Intact Insurance, your home, your auto, your business. Ask your broker about Intact Insurance Company. Wisniewski in on the left wing side for Johansson. He drops it back. Wisniewski with a backhand to the side of the net. Down with Reimer to knock it away. Back of the net is Boone Jenner. Gets it back to the blue line. A long shot. Had save made by Reimer. Into the corner behind the net is Boone Jenner again. Pass in front of the goal, and it was knocked away there at the last second by Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk got it ahead, and Bozak finds Kessel. Cross the line for Carl Gunnarsson. He's going to go in to do the forechecking here against Ryan Murray. Now it's Van Riemsdyk with a wraparound attempt, and that was knocked away by Bobrovsky. Good play by Gleason to knock the puck off the stick of the Blue Jackets forward Johansson, and now we get an icing charge here against Toronto with a minute and 40 seconds gone in period number one. Uh, Columbus has some pretty good speed, and they start off the game in the Leafs zone here, and a great play by Van Riemsdijk to come back from his point position and break up a real good-looking scoring chance for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets 13, 14, and 3 on the road. The Leafs 21, 10, and 1 at home. And the Leafs looking to win their eighth straight on home ice. James Reimer gets the start tonight for a couple of reasons. One, Jonathan Bernier after the break has been just okay. But not only that, they're going to need Reimer here shortly in this extended road trip as the Leafs have a big one coming up out west with back-to-back -back situations. So you had to get him in sooner or later. The key is to get him in at home, get him some confidence, because you'll need him on the road. Shot block brought on now by Gleason with a pass to Lupo. Rink wide finds Kadri. Kadri sidesteps a hit from Nikitin. He goes into the corner. Kadri looking for a man, finds Gleason back in the middle of the ice with a shot coming. And it went off, escape went wide of the goal. To the blue line again to Riley. Wrist shot blocked. Riley has to hustle back to get it away there from R.J. Umberger. Brought into the lead zone now by Dubinsky. Taken away by Riley. Hooked ahead and Sparkson leaves it there. And Lupo will carry it through the neutral zone. Now to Kadri, a little toe drag move that didn't work there. Trying to get it around the defense of Dalton Brooks. Now here are the Leafs with Clarkson with a shot. That is partially blocked. Far side now for Umberger and played out into the center ice area. Leafs with seven defensemen again tonight. Gardner in over the line with a pass from Ranger. Gardner gets it back to Ranger at the blue line. His shot is high and wide of the goal. Puck up on the near side and pushed out into the center ice area. And Ranger will get there to steer it right back. Here's a chance now for Troy Bodie in the drive. And a blocking arm saved by Bobrovsky. Puck back to the blue line. Gardner to the far side. And the one-timer by Ranger didn't make it. As it was blocked by one of the Blue Jackets in the slot. Near side for Nikitin. Trying to get it out past Gardner. Got a piece of it, but now a break. And a lead pass and a good one for Bellino. Hand save by Reimer. And a huge save for the goaltender. Getting back into the swing of things. 
second shot of the game. He looks at a breakaway, and boy, that's a terrific save for him. We talked about confidence here all early. They want to feel a puck early, and to come up with a big save like that will only help him. Gardner dropping it back. Kessel coming late out of the zone. Got away from one, plays it ahead. Here's Van Riemsdyk looking for Boza. And a save made by Bobrovsky, taking it on the chest from the lead centerman, and he's going to hold on. A pretty nice offensive play by the Columbus Blue Jackets off the rush and a bit of a bad read on a two-on-two -two after a turnover. And good save by Reimer to stay right up on Foligno. Foligno sneaks in behind the defense on, takes off on the left side. Perfect backhand pass. There's a heads-up play as Foligno snuck in behind Paul Ranger. Talk about skill. A backhand saucered pass. Flat as a pancake onto the stick. That is a lost art. Curved sticks in the knot. It's uh, that's a tough, tough play to make. Here's another break now for the Blue Jackets. Here's Jenner trying to go to the net, and it's knocked into the corner. Down behind the goal, Johansson. Taken to the board by Kadri, but Johansson able to elude him. Johansson still with it. Now works it back to the blue line for the one-timer. Pad save made by Reimer. Leafs get it off a stick to center in a one-on-one -on -one rush with Clarkson. Working against Jack Johnson. Johnson carries Clarkson into the corner and takes him off the disc. And then Clarkson takes Johnson off the ice. Johansson in his own zone. Stick handling rather precariously in front of his own goal. And now Savard starts out of his own end. And the Blue Jackets get it to center. Slid in on an open wing. Kessel won't get there in time. And it is the Jackets with a delayed offside in effect. Allowed to bring it out with Savard coming up. Now Johnson. Got it ahead and pushed in by Latesco into the lead zone. Reimer out of the cage to flip it around on the near wing. And it's... Played out into the center ice area, and here's Kessel trying to find some room. He works to the line, offside. Van Riemsdyk, Kessel had to make the extra move, and it's whistled down on the offside. Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on Sportsnet. Brought to you by the Molson Canadian Beer Fridge, Project Indonesia. See the whole story online. Clarkson and Johnson get at it here a little bit down in the defensive zone, and Jack Johnson gets given a pretty good ride by Clarkson. Yeah, the Blue Jackets out at center with Wisniewski sending it down into the Toronto end. Ranger sends it around on the boards. Kessel tried to chop it, got it freed up, and Ranger sends it out into the center ice area. Head right back down into the zone, and Cody Franson is there. Ranger with it now in the near corner. With a flip pass for Van Riemsdyk, he'll clear the zone and forces Brandon Dubinsky back into the Blue Jackets' end. Dubinsky couldn't handle the pass. Shot back into Columbus territory by Van Riemsdyk. Leafs are peeling to the bench for a change. James Wisniewski brings the puck out. The pass ahead into the neutral zone. Grabbed off there by Kuhleman. He used his glove, but it was his stick that touched it first. The play goes on. Now back of the net for Raymond. Unable to get it to Troy Bodie. And it is Wisniewski starting back with a pass up on the left wing side. Brought in by Gavrik. He had it stripped away by Kuhleman. And Kuhleman works against the Keaton in over the line. Kuhleman into the slot. And the shot was off a stick and ramped over top of the net. Leaves with a centering pass from Bodie that didn't make it. Bodie restores it. Sends it into the corner. Back of the net now for Raymond. Raymond trying to come out in front. He did. But the puck went off the stick and comes... Now flipping out into the center ice area and down into the lead zone. That'll be an icing charge on a rather slow developing icing call, but it'll be brought back. Nikolai Kuhleman seems to be quite happy at the center ice position here, and he tracks back in the neutral zone. And because of that, makes a pretty, creates a pretty good chance to score for himself that was just knocked away by the defense. And then this is where this line has to play, behind the goal line, work the puck down low, a wraparound attempt by Raymond. And some pretty nice low work by that energy group. Shot by Riley was knocked into the corner. Gavrick gets it out into the center ice area. And Anisimov got it into the lead zone. And a change of players coming for the Blue Jackets. 
Kadri. Lupel tipped to the line and in. Clarkson was standing stationary and couldn't do much with it. A lead pass goes off the skate right onto the stick of Timmy Gleason. Gleason almost gave it away there to Nathan Horton. And then a double team hit, but that frees up a man in front. And Johansson had it stripped away there. And then a penalty coming here as Jake Gardner got lassoed by Boone Jenner. Boone Jenner, and so Jenner is off to the penalty box. Oshawa General goes to the box. And he gets his arm up, tries to reach around Gardner and takes two hands off a stick, and that's when their arm goes up. No score first period, the least to the first power play. Well, Kessel is currently 11 points behind Sidney Crosby in second spot in the scoring race. The last time a Leaf finished second, Gay Stewart back in the 45-46 season. He was 11 points behind Max Bentley that year. Lord Grillen, the only Leaf to ever win the scoring title, and that was way back in 37-38. Now, I'd say 11 points behind Crosby. Kessel has made up nine points on Crosby since December the 29th. It's going to be a lot to ask that he remain as hot as he has been, but you just never know. A shot there by Gardner was blocked, and now a pass back into the slot went off a stick. The Leafs, who gave up a couple of shorthanded goals on Long Island, almost had a shorthanded rush going there. Here's Morgan Riley into the zone. Riley will play it around behind the goal, and Cadre lets it go. Gardner back to Cadre, back to Gardner. Back to Kadri again. Kadri looking for a man in front. Centering pass. Blocked there, and the rebound comes to Gardner. Gardner sidesteps one. Works into the slot for Lupo. A shot right on. And that was stopped by Bobrovsky. Riley. Kadri at the half force. Down low to, more, or to Mason Raymond. Raymond curling out. Kadri down low. Flipping it. Flipping the shot by Riley. Hit the side of the goal. There's Raymond. Our side, Kadri. Kadri holding. Down into the corner to Mason Raymond. A pass back to Kadri. Tried to slip it out in front. Riley is down low there as well. Out tried to poke it off the stick and he died. Raymond back to the blue line. Gardner trying to keep it in, but the Leafs unable to do so. And it's out into the center ice area. Morgan Riley trying to get it down deep into the corner. Raymond remains out there for the time being, but now goes to the bench, and the number one power play comes out. One of the stats about Bill Kessel. He has more goals scored on even strength. His power play stats are not nearly in the league leadership department. Here's a chance by Van Riemsdyk to make that little play between his legs. But it was gloved by Bobrovsky and Hell. This period brought to you by the all-new Toyota Highlander. One look and you'll want to know more. Well, the Maple Leaf defense on their first power play unit actually went four up. As Riley just stood right beside the side of the net. One player back on the blue line and he had a pretty good chance and Bobrovsky had his blocker in the way. Here's Kessel, stepping in with a shot to the goal line! Oh, they're going to have to look at this! It was very close on that line, but it no. may not have crossed. Uh, it didn't, did, and the ref was in perfect position to make the call. Now, they'll check it upstairs to see if the puck went over the line, but it squeaks through the legs of Bobrovsky and no. does not go in. And Johansson takes it right off the line to save the goal. And here comes the stick of Johansson there as it's twisting, turning, and then he knocks it into the pads of Bobrovsky. Yes. And I am sure that the league office is going to be really quick on this one based <laughs> on the fact that that was pretty clear. Let's see. Check, check, check. What, are you timing them? No, I'm not. <laughs> Let's have one look, more look for the war room. Here it is. Oh, and it's close. And a great play by the youngster to reach back and beat Gunnarsson to the puck. And that was terrific. Look at that, how quick that is. We have no goal. The puck never did cross the line. 
That is Brad Watson. Eric Ferlot is the other referee. Greg Dvorsky and Steve Miller, the linesman. Terrific work by the war room there. They got that decision made in a hurry. And let's play on. Face on to the left of Bobrovsky. The Leafs win the draw. Enough. Slides it down into the corner. Van Riemsdyk taken to the boards. Back of the net is Bozak. To the blue line to Gunnarsson. To Pinoff with a one-timer. Fired and Kessel on the near side. Had that bounce over his stick. Van Riemsdyk centering pass. And it's gobbled up there by Boone Jenner, who's out of the penalty box. Horton and across the line. Drops it back. The puck comes free. Kessel banking it off the boards and racing after it. Couldn't get there in time. Ryan Murray sent it out. Van Riemsdyk sends it right back in again. Now it bounces away from Murray. He will restore it and go around back of the net. No score halfway through period number one. Laid in off the boards then by Anisimov. Paulino, who had the glorious chance on the breakaway, into the four check as the puck comes ahead. And here is Lupul working in on the left wing with Timmy Gleason into the work. Back to Lupul. He had Clarkson in front of the net, but couldn't get it to him on the backhand. Paulino back the other way. The former Ottawa Senator dishes it in for Gabrick. Gabrick just coming back. Third game since returning from injury. At the blue line, a long shot by Prout went wide. And it is Riley getting it up on the wing. Out come the Leafs now with Lupul. He hits the line, made the extra move, and that put Kadri offside. 9.20 to go, first period. The Leafs nothing, and the Blue Jackets nothing. Well, the Maple Leafs are going to have to improve on these statistics down the stretch if they're going to, A, make the playoffs, and B, be a force within them. And, and you wonder goals against, shots against. And you wonder if the Leafs are going to try to perhaps find a defenseman before the trade deadline, although the issue, of course, is going to be cap room and whether you can maneuver your lineup enough and whether there's a player that fits your needs available. And the issue is as much a team one as a just a defenseman one. They've got to be better in their own end in coverage. They've got to be better in getting the puck from the half boards out of the zone without getting trapped in there and getting cycled on and having the shots add up. As a long one from Gardner is an easy catch from Bobrovsky, and he'll hold on. Unless your TV's in the kitchen, you'll want a finger cook tonight. Order from over 100 menu items at bostonpizza.com. There's Todd Richards, also a former assistant coach with Team USA. And the draw won by the Blue Jackets. Jack Johnson, who plays a lot of minutes, gets it out into the center ice area for Dubinsky. He had it taken away, but then off the body it goes off the glove of Reimer. Gardner tried to make a play up the middle and it went off a shin pad and now he has some skating room around behind the net and he cuts the net to allow himself to get it out at center. Up on the right wing side for Kessel. Kessel with a pass to Van Riemsdijk. Shoulder save, rebound in front of the goal. Bobrovsky pulled over by his own defense in the net, or forward by Umberger. Right up ahead at center ice for Atkinson, and he'll get it to center ice for Johnson. Jack Johnson with a little move, but Cody Franson would have none of it. Johnson knocked down on the play. Broken stick there, and a slashing penalty is coming here to the Blue Jackets. Reimer's heading for the bench, but uh, Raymond couldn't penetrate the defense, and the whistle will bring the penalty and the power play back to Toronto. Yeah, Brandon Dubinsky and the Columbus Blue Jackets, who had a pretty good start to this game with using their speed, have taken their speed away from themselves by getting a couple of penalties. And there's the penalty by Dubinsky there as he breaks Gardner's stick. Gardner gets himself in trouble on this shift by a bad clearing pass, but he gets the puck back and then skates himself out of trouble, joins the attack, and that opens up Van Riemsdijk a little bit, and Dubrovsky had to be very sharp on that attempt. As the puck was available there in the rebound for a moment, Columbus does a nice job of boxing out the lead forwards coming to the net. The Leafs have not scored a power play goal in 12 opportunities, dating back five games to when they scored on their last opportunity against the Ottawa Senators. 
Randy Carlisle dragged his team in Sunday for practice and for one of the reasons to work on special teams. Two of the seven shots the Leafs have came on their first power play. Here's Raymond across high speed, cleared in there by Gardner. Gardner to Kadri, Kadri into the corner for Raymond. Pass in front for Lupo, but he was unable to get to it. Matt Calvert brings it to center. Calvert in, holding at the half court, got the shot in on goal, stopped by Reimer, and Lupel starts out of his own zone. Joffrey Lupel to center, a saucer pass there to Raymond, played into the corner, and Lupel goes in there against Murray. The collision has the puck come free. Raymond now looking for it behind the net to the far side. Gardner with a glance over his shoulder to try and keep it in. Has trouble there with an Isimov, and it is shot down the ice by the Blue Jackets. Jackets with seven shorthanded goals, and you can see how they do try offensively and with the great speed. They can off and break open with killing penalties. Two shorthanded goals scored on Long Island brings to a total of eight surrendered by the Leafs. Here's Van Riemsdyk with a shot. There's a rebound in front, but it's going to be cleared out and down the ice. Dabrowski, who's been excellent for quite a while now, getting his form back from last season, has been very solid in this first period. There's the trophy winner a year ago, and around the boards it comes to the near side. Van Riemsdyk returns the favor. Bozak let it go. Quickly over here to Panuf. Dished off to Kessel. Kessel steps in with a shot. There's another rebound! And Bozak fed it wide. Played off the boards, but Franson had penetrated down below the goal line. No one there to keep it in. But, but Proboski, he has let about three or four rebounds out right in the blue paint, and the Leafs have not been able to get to them. Bozak got in over the line, had it knocked off his stick. Now tries to restore it along the boards, but it'll be grabbed off there by Johansson and played out as the penalty is over. Blue Jackets into the lead zone with a shot that deflects into the near corner. Kraus has it cleared off his stick against the boards. Horton got it back in along the wall. Van Riemsdyk just gets it out into the center ice area. Kraus, far side for Nikitin. Nikita Nikitin sends it in around behind the Toronto goal. Carl Gunnarsson taken to the board, dug out by Johansson, stolen back by Gleason, up the middle to Van Riemsdyk. Leafs in need of a change, and the pass will come to Gunnarsson to get it in over the line. Gunnarsson shot, another big rebound off the pad. Back to the blue line, Timmy Gleason sent back behind the net. Van Riemsdyk tied up his man. Puck comes free to him. Now he's around the wrapper around, and it was deflected wide of the net by Bobrovsky. Clarkson in behind the net, trying to sweep it in front. And it rolled off his stick, and now the Blue Jackets get it out into the center ice area. Ranger hustling back, trying to chop it back, and did for Gleason. Gleason gets it back to his defense partner, who got it up on the wing, and it's bounced out into the center ice area. 4.38 to go in a scoreless first period. Wisniewski sends it into the Toronto zone. Clarkson with a little tip pass. Smith gets it ahead, and McClement is down, backhanding it into the zone again. He roars in there after it. Smith got a piece of his man, but Molino has a long lead pass going to Gabrick. Gabrick across the line. Broken up, it's a delayed offside, and it is Branson getting it on to Ranger. Ranger with a long shoot in around the board, far side to Troy Bodie. Sent behind the net for McClement. McClement couldn't get it away from Wisniewski. Uh, hit there by Bodie, took his man to the boards. And the Jackets get it out into the center ice area. Shot by Polino was blocked. Gardner to the boards with Gavarin. Puck comes free to Bodie. And Bodie starts away with a rink-wide pass for Mason Raymond. He had it knocked off his stick. Gleason weak backhand onto the stick of David Savard. And into the center ice area then for Atkinson. He can't get around the lead defender Gardner. And it ends up in the Toronto bench. The Leafs nothing and the Columbus Blue Jackets nothing. Game three of their series. Tonight's keys to the game are brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of the NHL. Well, for the Toronto Maple Leafs, the defensive structure has to be a lot better. There's no doubt about it. And for the Blue Jackets, they're going to need some contribution from all kinds of unlikely sources. And I say that because of injuries of late for Gabra. Nathan Horton is playing, uh, has played 20 games since coming back from injury. 
And the Blue Jackets have gone 13-6-1 with him in the lineup. So he's been a welcome addition. Former Boston Bruin. Savard got it to center. Gardner got knocked off the puck here. Cam Atkinson in with a shot. And Reimer saw that all the way and loved it. Hi high. Olsen Canadian Hockey Central trade deadline. It's Wednesday all day. Coverage begins at 8 a.m. bright and early Eastern time. Sports and East Ontario, West and Pacific will have it for you. A veritable cast of thousands will be involved in that coverage. At the blue line, Jack Johnson shot right on. And the rebound stopped off Umberger by Reimer. It comes out over the line. Johnson able to protect it long enough to allow troops to arrive. Blue Jackets have to go back into their own zone to pick it up. Brandon Dubinsky stationed behind the net. Ace have made a change of players with 2.53 to play in the period. Dubinsky uh, into direct traffic. Gets it off to Johnson. Rink wide. Broken up there by the Maple Leafs. Here's Lupel in with a pass. And Kessel was going to the net but couldn't make contact. Horton in across the line. Got away from Panuk. Trying to get away from Kessel. Horton now back at the blue line. Horton to the boards. Lupo leans on him and dishes it free. And here's Bozak coming back through the middle. Drop for Lupo. Trying to drop it back to the blue line, but it comes out over the line. And Carl Gunnarsson goes back to retrieve it. Kessel on the wrong wing. Works in now and stops. Trying to work to the middle of the ice. Still with it. Drop pass goes to Ranger. Ranger with a drive. Pat save. Van Riemsdijk trying to bank it in off the rear end of the goaltender. Kept alive by, Ryan, or by Riley. Kessel. Van Riemsdijk behind the net to Bozak. That shot hit a skate in front of the goal. Leafs have had some great looks at the net. As Murray goes to the bench. He has been injured in that last play in front of the net. He's going right off. I'm not sure if he twisted his ankle or was kicked or... And across the line for Gabrick. The shot blocked. Gabrick trying to get the rebound. Kessel and uh, Murray collided along the boards. Just as well, the Leafs get Murray out of the game. He scored three career NHL goals. Two of them have against, been against the Leafs. He's a good young player that sure the Blue Jackets would really miss if he's injured for an extended period of time here. Off the boards to the line. And it's played out into the center ice area. Raymond got it back in his own zone. A rink-wide pass by Branson was nowhere near anyone. Fired down into the Toronto zone by Kingsville's Dalton Trout. Behind the net, Timmy Gleason lost it there to McKenzie. McKenzie working back to the blue line. Back of the net again. It goes for Boone Jenner to the near side with 40 seconds left to play in the period. Kuhlman ties up Jenner. Branson got it ahead. Raymond with a quick pass up on the right side, and Troy Bodie will bounce it in wide of the Blue Jackets goal. Leafs have had a dozen shots. Columbus has had eight. But up has that bound over a stick back into the Toronto zone. Quickly on for Gunnarsson, left there for Kadri. Kadri across the line. That bogged down with Gunnarsson hugging the blue line. And it turns into an offside with 15.1 seconds to go. If you drive on snow and ice, you don't want all-season tires. You want all-weather tires. Get Nokian's most advanced all-weather tire, the WRG3 at Cal Tire. Final few seconds in a scoreless first period. Rolled in over the Columbus blue line. Savard got it out. Calvert, left-wing feed, now bounces down into the Toronto end. Gunnarsson will play it behind the goal to the far side to Clarkson. Clarkson will take it to the boards, and there is the horn that ends the period. Nothing, nothing. This period brought to you by the all-new Toyota Highlander. One look, and you'll want to know more. Leafs out shoot Columbus by four and have the two power play opportunities, but there is no score. Let's go to Darren in the panel. 
Welcome back to the Air Canada Centre, and after one period of play, there is no score in the game. David Savard leading all the players in ice time. James Van Riemsdyk had four shots. Let's go downstairs to the forward line of Christine Simpson, Damian Cox, and Scott Morrison. Thank you very much, Joe. And Scott, so much of the talk heading into this game was about the Leafs goaltending situation, but it's Columbus's goaltender, Sergei Bobrovsky, that's caught your eye. Well, he was one of the best players in that period. There's no question, and he had to be to keep that game tied. And he's not putting up the numbers that he put, did last year when he won the Vezina Trophy. But after a slow start, he's really finding his way. 13-4 in one roll, and you saw him just so square to the puck, post to post, rock solid. The Leafs generated him some good chances, but he stood tall. And of course, he was just in Sochi at the Olympics. And Damien, so much of the discussion there was how short the shifts were for the players. It's quite a different story we're seeing here today. Yeah, the Maple Leafs are not playing Olympic hockey, not the way Team Canada did. They took a lot of long shifts in this morning. They had four forwards with an average shift time of more than a minute. One of them was James Rand Reemsike. And this is what I call the Phil Esposito shift, more than two minutes long. He was out there for the second half of a power play. And then you'll see him, and he's still out there, and he stays out there, and he stays out there, and he takes out there a little bit longer. Now, this line is as hot as any in hockey, and as I say, you want to play your best players, but when you start staying out there as long as some of these guys are staying out there, that's where you get defensive errors. They've got to shorten their shifts a little bit. It's almost as though they're all trying to outdo each other, see how long they can stay out there. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. Uh, Joe, we'll head it back up to you. All right, thank you, gang. It, uh, is something to uh, the power plays. You get well before a power play, you got a little nick, and you certainly tried to stay out there sometimes a little too long. But both Kessel and Van Riemsdyk have uh, benefited from the extra ice at times. As we get set for the start of the second period, Randy Carlisle's crew in a nothing nothing tie. Shots on goal were 12 to 8 in the first period, favoring Toronto. Going along with Greg Millen and Paul Hendrick here on Sportsnet and a cast of thousands down below. The Jackets play it high into the center ice area. Gleason had it knocked away by Gabrick. And then they're going to whistle this down as it may have hit the edge of the rink uh, where the curved glass by the goaltender and so the faceoff is coming down in the Toronto end. Well, it's straight deadline time, so why don't we start some rumors? Why not? Start? Yeah, well, Los Angeles is around here tonight and they're looking for some scoring. Gabrick is on the block, I would think, at this point, so yeah, but, but let's, he, let's start it. He lives in Gananoque. <laughs> I'm talking about Los Angeles. A draw one by the Leafs and played around back of the net. Finally gets it up on the wing and Clarkson trying to bat it out past Jack Johnson. And it comes free now as Kadri will get it out at center ice and Lupo sends it deep into the zone. Bobrovsky trapping it behind the net, got it into the corner. Played ahead on the wing by Savard but not out. Long shot is deflected off a leg and now a bank pass through center ice. And Anisimov couldn't get it in over the line. He's back out into the center ice area. Polino brings it in, but he's way offside of Marion Gabrick. And it'll be brought back into the center ice area. Well, Robofsky talked about it in the first period a lot. You heard the guys on the desk as well talking with Robofsky. And he's laid some pretty nice little rebounds out. Now the key is, why aren't the Leafs getting to them? Well, Columbus have done a real nice job collapsing down low in front of him and boxing them out, and this was the closest call of the period, obviously. Johansson with a pretty good play to reach in behind and save a goal. Hey, Greg, getting back to Alan McCauley, he was the architect of that trade that brought Jonathan Bernier here from that track, and something he worked very hard on the past year and a half, so you may be up to something. Well, speaking of the trade for Bernier, how about... Uh Scriven signing a new two-year deal in Edmonton as a result of the trade that sent him to the Oilers. So that went off the glass. This was backhanded by Reimer, and so no penalty and a face-off in the circle to his right. Reimer discussing things with Carl Gunnarsson before the face-off. Ryan Johansson will take the draw. Tyler Bozak wins it cleanly, and Gunnarsson around on the boards far side for Van Riemsdyk. A long lead pass. Kessel was able to knock it down. 
Bozak tries to clear some room, but it's cleared into the corner. Bozak in there after it against Jack Johnson. Played around the boards, but Fanuf had crept into the slot. No one back at the blue line to keep it in. Tipped by Bozak, the laid off side. Van Riensdijk slow coming out, heads to the bench. Here are the Blue Jackets coming ahead with Johnson. He decides to circle back. Changes coming for Columbus as well. On the near boards then for Boone Jenner. He couldn't get it in the first time. Did the second. Quickly cleared by Fanuf back down into Columbus territory. Two minutes into the books here in the second period. Still looking for the opening goal of the hockey game. Pass ahead to flex in off Cam Atkinson, and it'll be Reimer playing it around on the boards to the near side. Is this going to clear? No, it won't. Kept in by Nikitin. Trapped by Cody Franson. Played back on the boards. Knocked down by Cam Atkinson to the blue line. Rebound in front of the goal. And Franson may have saved a goal. He had the hook on the Columbus player and took him off his skates. But there was room on the backhand there. Had the Columbus player been able to get his stick on it. Well, the shot gets through, and a good point by Nikitin, and then the Pinsky's going to go right around Reimer, at least get a chance to score, and there's Franson. Hooks up right there on the Pinsky, so the first power play of the game for Columbus starts off this second period. Last five games, Columbus has been dynamite with the power play, 6 of 21. Face off controlled by Columbus. Johnson trying to keep it in against Jay McClement. And it comes free now to Fanuf. And Fanuf plays it off the glass and out and down the ice. Franson for hooking. Up on the left wing side for Dubinsky. Drop pass. Calvert gets it into the corner. Dubinsky twisting and turning. It comes back to the blue line. Kept in by Wisniewski. Wisniewski to Calvert trying to work in. Dubinsky with a shot. That's what. There's a rebound. And grabbed off there by Kuhleman. And he finds an opening to send it down the ice and scampers to the bench. Dabrowski thought about making a quick up, but there was no one on the near boards to facilitate that with the Blue Jackets changing as well. Umberger gets it in over the line. Around to an open corner. Cut off by Jack Johnson. Set back into the corner for Umberger. Now it is Polino to the blue line. Johnson has it stolen. And it's backhanded by Van Riemsdyk out and down the ice. Two seconds left to go in the first power play opportunity of the game for the Blue Jackets. And they miss Murray on this power play as well. The youngster on defense is now gone for the evening. So with a lower body injury as he was hurt, as we showed you in period number one. It looked like an ankle, didn't it? It did. Gabrick back to the blue line to Johnson. Played into the corner again for Gabrick. Tried to play it back to the line, and it was stolen and shot down the ice by Gleason. Another change of penalty killers here in the second period for Toronto. I know the Columbus management team... John Davidson is really impressed with Ryan Murray this season, so they will not be thrilled about that injury. Nisimov just did get back on side, but the Leafs get it to the line. Played to an open wing, cut off and sent in deep then by Savard. And around behind the net is Fanuf getting an angle, and he'll get it off the glass and down the ice. That'll do it. The penalty is over. Icing is called here against the Leafs with 15.39 to go here in period number two. And a terrific penalty kill. And you look at how this Columbus team is built through the draft. And Kirby Reichler is coming. He's had a real good season as well in the Ontario Hockey League. And there is Kessel's foot. And right on the left leg of Murray. He went right off. You have to wonder, you hope, that it's not a tendon or a cut because it certainly looked that way, didn't it? Well, skate, skate on, on skate. skate. Yeah, or a bad bruise right on the ankle bone, but I can't speculate after, for no. sure, but the way he went off, it didn't um, look good. After what happened to David Bolin, you can't take anything for granted. Not where you're intending, though. There's a little more pain involved, so let's hope it's not something like that. McKeaton gets it back to the blue line. Long shot wide of... Reimer's cage there by Johansson. Now here are the Blue Jackets back behind the net with Boone Jenner. Jenner gets it to the blue line. And Keaton to the far side. And the drive was off a leg. And it's going to be chopped out into the center ice area by Cody Franson. 
Right wing side for the Blue Jackets. Drop pass, Boom Jenner. Jenner trying to go wide, rolls it in front, and down goes Reimer to cover up on it. Now he's outside the blue paint where he ended up with the puck, but not quite as far out of the blue paint as Bernier was the other night in overtime. We talked about David Bull, and he's still practicing. Is he ready? And everybody seems to think he's ready, but David Boland's not going to come back until he's 110%. You know that. He's the unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. There's no way he's going to risk his career coming back early. And not only that, the Leafs want, don't want him back until he can play and participate at a proper level. Pass over on the left wing side for Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk, bouncing puck goes wide of the net. Bozak in the corner, tied up by Johnson. Bozak trying to extricate himself from the checking as it comes to the line. A weak shot by Gardner bounces wide of the net. Ranger pinches to keep it in. Kessel with a shot! And he snapped it over top of the goal. Backhanded to center by Matt Calvert. And Gardner is back in his own zone to Ranger. Ranger to Kessel. Kessel just did get it to Van Riemsdyk. Drop pass Bozak. Bozak looks behind him and centers Kessel a quick shot. And that was stopped by Bobrovsky. Kept in by Gardner. Here's Kessel again. Bozak in the corner. Looking for Ranger who has crept in. He bats it down into the corner. And it'll be brought by Matt Calvert and flipped out into the center ice area. Paul Ranger. Into the wing for Bozak. He turns the favor to the Whitby native. And he'll circle back in his own zone to find Jake Gardner. Gardner stops again. The Leafs are changing. So the defense... Playing catch with it will facilitate that. Gaverick out of the head to Polino. Ranger now peppers it deeper into Columbus territory. Been a good period for Toronto. An excellent penalty kill where Columbus didn't get a chance to score. For the most part, Toronto's had the puck on their stick in this period. Polino in over the line, dropping it back. An exploding stick, and the puck went just wide. Now Reimer's lost his stick. The drive is caught by the league netminder, and he's going to hold on. From the Air Canada Center, you're watching Molson Canadian Leaf Hockey on Sportsnet. Well, these two have had quite a season, haven't they? And Phil Kessel with his speed and Van Riemsdyk with his ability to go to the net and create problems there. And they've been quite a duel. duel. And here's Kessel late with that patent snapshot that we've seen so many times against the New York Islanders. Similar as well, no backs swing at all. And then here's Montreal, he just takes off right through the middle. And another one of those quick release shots. 33 goals. His career high is 37 a couple of seasons ago as Reimer takes that in the glove. His career high in points, 82. He currently has 69. So a career year on the horizon for Bill Kessel and a career year already in the books for James Van Riemsdyk. Yeah, and it all turned around when Tyler Bozak came back from injury December 29th. Last 23 games, that line has 82 points. McKeaton out of the head. Umberger gets it out. Brought in now and sent by Dubinsky around behind the net. Gleason ties up his man. Umberger to the loose puck. Back to the blue line and a shot. Knocked away. And the puck restored now by Troy Bodie. Bodie brings it to the line. The extra move at the blue line. Put Riley offside, and so it'll be brought back into the center ice area. Leeson lost an edge after he blocked the shot. Yes, he's going to get this shot right on the skate blade here, and he goes immediately over to get his edge Whoa. fixed. Yep, yep. <laughs> might have broken the blade. <laughs> he got into a bit of a speed wobble there, trying to restore his uh, equilibrium. Yeah, oh, hello. <laughs> been a nice addition to the Leaf defense core and blocking shots has been a forte of Tim Gleason since arriving here. Loose puck in the slot for Van Reems like the castle! Oh and a sliding block made there by David Savard. He may have saved a goal. Now brought in by Jenner. Boom Jenner a shot and he Ooh. just missed that far post. Kick it by the puck. Captain for two years with the Oshawa Generals. 
And uh, having an outstanding rookie season for the Columbus Blue Jackets is Boone Jenner as he gets it back to the blue line. Savard has his stick break on him and Kessel's away to the races. But he's got one man to beat. Now he's got another man to beat without a stick. Kessel has it in his skates. A centering pass, a backhand by Bozak. Went over top of the net. Played back to the blue line, but it's cut off. And Jenner starts away. The Dorchester, Ontario native will just play it down into the Toronto zone. And the Leafs are lucky there. Nathan Horton broke his stick, and he didn't have a stick in his hands. And he was off to the races, and it would have been a two-on-one break for Columbus. Broken up by Lupo. Played up on the wing, and now Felino. will just play it down into the Toronto zone. Tanner has ten goals in his rookie season. The Columbus record for rookies set by Rick Nash in 0203 with 17. And Isimov couldn't get it free, and now we have a whistle and a glove pass. We're 49 seconds away from the midpoint in this evening's contest, still looking for the opening goal of the hockey game. Pretty de strong defensively, both teams the last, see, 20 minutes or so, and Savard here with a real good block after the Columbus Blue Jackets get the puck away, and then Jenner strips the puck here from Gunnarsson, right there, creates the pressure by Horton, and then here's the chance afterwards by Jenner, who just grazed the post. After Horton, there's some pretty good pressure on Gunnarsson. Now oh, here's a chance and a shot over top of the goal by Latestu. And clearly Columbus trying to go high over the glove here. They've tried it a couple of times. The Leafs have not had a shot on goal in the second period as yet. But Columbus has had only three of their own. Now here's Derek McKenzie. Former Sudbury Jr. gets it over on the far side. Winding and driving. Scores! Dalton Prout. Opens the scoring with a big screen in front of Reimer as Latestu was taking his eyes away. And the Kingsville, Ontario native opens the scoring. Well, off the rush for Columbus and McKenzie gains the line. Turns back and does a nice job. And a little D to D play here. And the Leafs late getting out to the points. And here's the shot through traffic. Latestu right in front of James Reimer does an excellent job. And the Blue Jackets get on the board first. And Reimer never sees the puck at all. Latestu right there in perfect position past James Reimer. Dalton Trout into his 63rd NHL game has just scored his second NHL goal. Trout with a good shot. It was. Kenzie and Calvert draw the assist. The Leafs trailing here in the second period. Play back to the blue line and over on the near side for Jack Johnson. Johnson shot in traffic, knocked down in front on a block. Kuhlman gets it ahead to Bodie. Bodie will send a bouncing shot in on Bobrovsky, who clears it away, but Bodie's right there, trying to get it in front of the net to Mason Raymond. Behind the net for Kuhlman. Kuhlman missed the check there from Wisniewski. Here's a sharp angle shot. Bounces off the rebound in front of the net. And Atkinson will play it off the boards to center ice. Onto the left wing side and down into the corner. The Leafs have not scored a goal against Bobrovsky in this building this year. That's the seventh Columbus goal. Right wing side for Johansson. Got around behind the net, trying to free it up there for Jenner. Jenner, now oh, where's the puck? Is smothered at the side of the net by Reimer. From the Air Canada Centre in Toronto, you're watching Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on Sportsnet Ontario. It's a fourth line goal for the Columbus Blue Jackets. A pretty good rush play by then as they gain the line and then turn it back to the points. Trevor Smith is going to take his man to the net. But when he does that, he's got to release him. There he is to the left of your screen. Stop it there. But now he's got to get back because that player now is Rangers' responsibility. Trevor Smith late getting back to the point. The time he does, he can't get into the shooting lane. Good play by Latestu in front of him at the screen, Reimer. And it's 1-0, and the battle of the fourth lines goes in the favor of the Columbus Blue Jackets in this second period. Out from McKenzie and Calvert, the scoring play. Trail one to nothing here against the Blue Jackets. 
Up ahead for Bozak. Backhand pass to try and find Kessel. Kessel plays it ahead for Fanuf. Now Bozak, rink wide for Van Riemsdyk. Toe drag and a shot and went wide of the net. Brought out on the center ice area. Intercepted by Van Riemsdyk. Gunnarsson to Fanuf. Back to Gunnarsson. Up ahead for Bozak. Bozak trying to make a backhand pass to Kessel. It was blocked. Puck is in the center ice area for Gabrick. He loses it to Van Riemsdyk. A blind pass to the near wing. Kessel able to get around Jack Johnson, but not getting it around Savard. Enough pinches in to keep it alive for Toronto. Polino will try and skate away from him and find some room and some nifty little work there to get it out at center. Backhanded in by Anisimov. Timer poking it away from the on-rushing Polino, but his goal stick is lost in the exchange. Centering effort hits the foot of Kadri. He is knocked down and comes back to the blue line to Nikitin. Now into the slot. Someone's lost another stick in front of the net. Leafs are trying to get a stick in the hands of Reimer, but it's out into the center ice area. The goal stick is down in the corner. Now Reimer's playing with a forward stick. Down behind the net for Felino. Back to the blue line. A pass in front. Scores! Well, that was James Van Riemsdyk's stick that he ended up with. Reimer. It, it all started when Reimer went to field the puck behind the net with, with Felino and lost his stick there. And then after that, here's where he loses his stick. Now he goes back. The Leafs are in trouble here. Reimer still doesn't have a stick. James Van Riemsdyk was going to give the goalie a stick right there. So now Reimer, well that didn't go so well as if the handoff didn't go. Now Van Riemsdyk without a stick can't get the puck blocked, get it out, but the Leafs finally get it out. Now Van Riemsdyk's going to go get his stick. Reimer's going to get his the stick there and now the Leafs are back in trouble as they don't get the puck in deep into the Columbus zone. And then some coverage. Cody Branson loses his man. Here's Ryan another chance in front. And a goal. It's 2 0 Columbus. And a scramble here at the end, but no goal as the net was dislodged. And we get some uh, up close and personal activity here between. Brandon Dubinsky and Troy Bodie. Well, now we're going to show you this play. As Reimer goes towards, lets the rebound out. As Atkinson, we told you in our pregame show how he loves to drive the net. He does it there. The net is off its moorings, I believe. And the puck went in afterwards. They will this. take another look at he's this. He's not very big, but I got to tell you, he's feisty, Atkinson. He goes to the net. With authority, and I believe the net will be off there, and this will be no goal. So Anisimov, 16th of the year from Nikitin and Foligno. And the Maple Leafs find themselves in a 2-0 hole here in the second period. Upon further review, it's been deemed that the net was off the morning before the puck crossed the line. Therefore, there is no goal. No goal. Leafs fell behind 2-1 to one to the New York Islanders and came back to take the lead only to lose it and then lose in overtime. They trailed Montreal 2-0 on Saturday night. Came back to tie the game in the third period and then lost the game in overtime after having a 3-2 lead in that game. Now the puck in the Toronto zone flipped over top of the lead goal. Behind the net is Calvert. Calvert back to the blue line. Near side now for Jack Johnson, a shot. And that was blocked in front of the net. Leafs have had just two shots on goal in this period. Jack Johnson playing it back in his own zone. A pass is deflected down in on goal, and Reimer had to play that off of pads. And now it's pushed ahead for Jay McClement, who banks it out at center ice. Trevor Smith was knocked down and then shot by Savard down into the Toronto zone once more. At the blue line, a shot right on. That went off the defenseman in front of the net. Ranger and Reimer had to make a save and then smother the loose puck. Intact Insurance is proud to sponsor the Toronto Maple Leafs and all the fans who keep believing. Intact Insurance. 
you're back. You know, and going back to that second goal with James Van Riemsdyk, it ended up not being a problem for him, but it's almost like he should have kept his hockey stick and got somebody to get Reimer his goal stick instead. And Misenov all by himself is, by that point, everybody's running around in a panic, even though the Leafs gained the zone and got it out. A great counterattack by Columbus to get it back in, and it's 2-0. Jenner in along the boards, back to the blue line, fed over on the far side, Savard shot, blocked by Carl Gunnarsson, and the Leafs flip it out at center, and a collision right at the blue line, sent Lupul sprawling in a collision with Jenner. Nikita up on the left wing, and over the line, and Horton got filled in there by Fanuc. Puck with side of the net, stopped by Reimer, it's still free in the corner. Back to the blue line it comes. Near side for Nikita. Nikita back the other way. Just got past Bozak's stick. Savard shot. Raises the goal post. It goes wide. And it Rick O'Shea's all the way down the ice. 5.18 to play in the second period. The other thing, Joe, you're off balance when you've got a forward stick in your hands as a goaltender. I mean, it's like so much lighter. There's nothing to it. And the Reimer looked pretty off balance with that forward stick. Miley with a shot. There's a rebound in front of the goal. Had we got a piece of it. Gleason's shot is deflected wide of the net by Bobrovsky. He came across, and he came across in an awkward fashion. Riley up ahead for David Clarkson. Slid by a hit, but can't get to the puck to keep it in. And Morgan Riley gives it back to Tim Gleason. Gleason restores it to Riley. Riley gets it ahead at center ice, and now Kadri in traffic to Gleason. He'll shoot it. Blocking arm saved by Bobrovsky. Markson got it back of the goal line, but couldn't hang on to it. Gabrick has alley-ooped it out at center ice. R.J. Umberger gets it in deep into the Toronto zone. Tim Gleason is chasing him as the Blue Jackets change, and a whistling shot goes over top of the helmet of Reimer. Kadri behind the net. Tripped up there, but Mason Raymond trying to find an opening. Can't find any skating room. Back to the blue line it comes. Was Wisniewski, middle of the ice, a shot. Deflected into the corner by Reimer. 16 shots now for Columbus, 17 for the Maple Leafs. But two of the Columbus shots are in the back of the net. Bouncing puck for Riley. Laid off the boards, but not onto the stick of Kadri. And so it remains in Toronto territory. And a tired group is out there now. And the Boobirds are also out at the Air Canada Center. Far corner it goes. Back to the blue line once more. Wisniewski walking the line. Tried to play it in front of the net. And it's broken up there. But now Raymond can't get to it. Centered in front of the goal. Still free. Reimer down. Got the pad out somehow. And he's managed to smother it with his blocking glove. And we get some pushing and shoving at the side of the net. And there'll be a face-off in the Toronto zone and a much-needed timeout. Now we're going to show you James Reimer trying to play goal with a forward stick. And here he picks it up. Where do you put your, head, your hand, your blocker hand? You kind of got to feel where it would be. You get your paddle down. It's not much of a paddle. And when you come across, look where his stick is. It's to his side. And he's got he's completely off balance on the play. And you almost wonder... You're better off without anything than a forward stick. And the key would be to get somebody to go and get his goal stick that was in the corner versus James Van Riemsdyk, who was trying to do something to help his goalie give him his stick. Even if you just shove it towards the crease to yes. at least give him an opportunity to pick it up. Some repair work being done in the goal crease uh, with uh, James Reimer looking on. 3.18 to play here in the second period. Maple Leafs, this is the ninth to last home game that they will have at the Air Canada Center. That's the thing about this game. I mean, the Leafs now go on a horrific long road trip, to, and they're going to Death Valley, as I call it, too, down to California, where it's very difficult to get points off San Jose, Anaheim, or Los Angeles. An additional couple of stops in Washington and Detroit. 
come back home and play Tampa Bay. The after next all night. That. The, the next, next night. night. Yeah, right after the game. It doesn't Detroit. get pretty here for the Maple Leafs after well, tonight's game. Lupo, a quick pass at center, and Smith couldn't get in over the line. Lupo seeing some action on this fourth line as they have played with seven defensemen tonight. Leafs have been outscored 12 to 2 by Columbus thus far in the three games played by one of the newer members of the Eastern Conference. Here are the Blue Jackets to center with Boone Jenner. Jenner with a shot. Reimer Ooh. knocked that down. I think he thought it was in his glove, but it was uh, knocked down to his goal pad area, and he's able to smother it. Pro Hockey Life. The ultimate hockey megastore. Molson Canadian Hockey Central trade deadline. It's Wednesday all day beginning at 8 a.m. Eastern time on Sportsnet East Ontario West and Pacific. Apparently they've gone to the mattresses. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave until the last trade has been done. I trust that underarm deodorant will be dispensed. <laughs> That's optional. Well, <laughs> I don't think so. Now here's Gunnarsson. On the wing it goes to Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk's pass hit a leg. Carl Gunnarsson is down deep. Still with it. Into the corner for Kessel. Back to the point to Phaneuf. And it bounced over his stick. Now he's in a foot race here. And Nathan Horton has won it. Horton in a goal! Shot it wide. Oh, oh, a field goal. Was it ever? Backhands it in. We better circle that if the Leafs are able to make a comeback here. As Nathan Horton had a clear-cut breakaway, matching what Polino had in the first period, and Reimer made that save. This time, Horton missed the net by a long shot. Kessel in over the line to Bozak. Bozak turns back. Little bit of skating room. Down in behind the goal that hit the official. It comes to Branson at the blue line. Cross ice for Kessel. Couldn't handle it. Wisniewski battling Kessel. Kessel tried to flip it in front. Here's Ranger into the fray. Down behind the net. Paul Ranger. Able to come up with it. And it's Molino turning with less than a minute to go in the period. Blue Jackets have scored twice in the middle stanza to take a 2-0 lead. Wisniewski into the near corner. Got it ahead at center. Here is a chance for Anisimov driving the net. And he knocks Reimer into the goal. But the puck went wide of the net. Leafs with a two-on-two -two rush the other way. Kadri pulls up. Kadri slips it in a backhand tie in front of the goal. Knocked down there by Clarkson. Sent around the boards to the near side. Columbus is 22-2-2 when they've led heading to the third period. The Leafs are 2-14-3 when they have fallen behind heading to the third period. Although they have uh, managed to come up with points in their last three games when they trailed heading into the third. But goals from Prout and Anisimov have Columbus up two to nothing. Let's go to Darren in the panel. Welcome back to downtown Toronto in the Air Canada Centre and the Columbus Blue Jackets trying to sweep their three-game series with the Leafs. Lead two nothing after two periods of play. Prout and Anisimov with the goals. And let's go downstairs to the troika of Christine Simpson, Damian Cox, and Scott Morrison. Thank you very much, Joe. And we've been giving our assessment of that second period. But, Scott, you got a chance to talk to Scott Gordon, Leafs assistant coach. What was his? Well, I asked him what changed so dramatically from the first period through that second period. He said it started in the neutral zone where they started turning over pucks. They lost their forecheck as a result, and Columbus really established their forecheck and strong puck possession. The Leafs didn't do a very good job of getting out on the points, as we saw. They collapsed around James Reimer. Consequently, the first goal was a howitzer from the point with a big screen in front. The second one, a beautiful pass to the side of the net. So a lot of areas they have to prove inside, improve rather inside their blue line. Well, if so here's that first goal there where you just see wide open on the far side, steps into it. Reimer doesn't have a chance. 
And then Franson loses his man on the second one coming off the boards for the Nikita Turpin pass for the tip in. And for James Reimer, of course, his first start since January 25th. And boy, the Blue Jackets are making life difficult for him, Damien. Yeah, they, they're being very hard on James Reimer tonight. They know he hasn't played a lot lately. And it started on that first goal. Mark Lachestu right in his face, getting the screen right away. But that was the easy part for Reimer. He got hit and hit hard a few times. Here's Cam At At Atkinson going hard into the net. A little bit later, you'll see Artem Anisimov do the same thing. I mean, these aren't big physical guys doing this. And then, of course, on here, Nick Polino chops a stick right out of his hand. That led to a goal. And I think uh, Nick's father, Michael, friend of uh, Joe Bowen, our own Joe Bowen, would approve of that play very much. Absolutely, Joe. Back to you. No, that's nothing that Mike Felino would have ever even thought about doing. Funny if, if the stick busy jumping in the air every time he that's scored on it. Too. And now, if the stick gets shattered, that's a penalty. And it probably should have been a slashing penalty anyway, as Reimer ended up having the stick knocked out of his hand. But at any rate, the Columbus Blue Jackets, full marks for their two to nothing lead. They've had 45 attempts at the net, the Maple Leafs have had 35, when you include block shots and shots that miss the goal. So the Leafs who have uh, managed to come from behind in their last three consecutive games to gain points and a victory against uh, Vancouver and then overtime losses to the Islanders in Montreal are faced with the same predicament here. And you heard Darren, Nick and Doug talk a lot on their panel about they need some more production for more than the first line, and I agree with them 100%. The first line's been skating, trying, trying to get something going. The rest of the lineup has done very little offensively at all. Well, when Phil Kessel does not record a point, the Leafs are 4-16-2. Here's an intercept by Calvert. Calvert in with a shot off the catching hand of Weimer and went back to the blue line. Calvert taken to the board by Franson. And it's back to the blue line, and here's Savard walking the line with a shot blocked in front, and it bounced over Boone Jenner's stick before he could get it delivered to the net. Tipped into the zone by Mark Batesti. They send the Blue Jackets are changing. Franson is in behind the net. Kessel is up at the offensive blue line. And slowly returning into their zone are Van Riemsdyk and Bozak. Phaneuf ahead for Bozak, off his stick, knocked down by Phaneuf and carried to the line and in. Phaneuf now with a shot, that was blocked. Phaneuf goes around behind the goal, swinging it through the blue paint. No one there with a stick to drive it home. Kessel's pass deflected into the zone by Carl Gunnarsson and then launched down the ice by the Blue Jackets, but no icing as in position to handle the puck for Wellens, Nathan Horton. Umberger on to the right wing side for Ryan Johansson. Johansson trying to work through. Backhand shot steered wide by Reimer. In back of the net goes Umberger. Had it knocked away by Gleason. Gleason couldn't get it away from Cam Atkinson. It's cleared to the line but not out. Shot blocked by Nikolai Kuhleman and he quickly gets it on to Troy Bodie's stick. Kuhleman going to the front of the net. Bodie's shot. Pad save an easy one for Bobrovsky. Into the center ice area and onto the left wing side for Atkinson. Drop pass and a shot is weak and wide and off the glass. Trout gets it behind the Toronto goal. Cut off there by Mason Raymond and now Gleason into the far corner gets it returned. Timmy Gleason starting up. Leafs have been shut out twice this year. Vancouver and Columbus have done the honors. Both of those games back in November. And it is a 2-0 lead here for Sergei Bobrovsky trying to make it back-to-back -back shutouts against the Maple Leafs. Back to the blue line is Nikitin over on the near side now for Savard. Into the slot area, dropping in, a shot off the goalpost! Where is everybody? I mean, he just walked right in from the blue line all the way to the top of the circle. A pass to the far point, kept in by Nikitin. Drop pass from Polino. Here's Savard shot and into the chest of Reimer, and he's going to hold on. Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on Sportsnet.
brought to you by the Molson Canadian Beer Fridge, Project Indonesia. See the whole story online. You can try to lay the blame on Reimer here, but how can you do that in this game? I mean, with that defensive zone coverage. I mean, right in, nobody. No forward, no defense, everybody peels off watching him. And he's in a tremendous shooting position, and the Leafs are very fortunate as it rings off the goal post. Far side, Clarkson got it ahead for Jay McClement, who has it in his skates. Clarkson following up on the play, runs into the linesman and is knocked down, spotted it into the corner. But Nikitin gets it around on the near side for Savard. His pass comes to center ice, quickly back in for Jay McClement. Upended there, but no call. And the pass along the boards is backhanded into the center ice area. Gleason goes back to retrieve it. Long pass ahead on the left wing for Smith. Smith in, took a shot, and the glove hand of Sergei Bobrovsky equal to the task. And he will hold for a face-off in the Columbus yeah, zone. 19 shots for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but very few scoring chances. And here's an example here. Bad angle shot, no traffic in front of Bobrovsky. And you better make that save if you're an NHL goalie. Face-off to the right of Bobrovsky. Control by the Blue Jackets, stolen then by Raymond, but he couldn't keep it in. Enough. will pepper it down into the zone. Took a bit of a hit there on the boards. Here's Lupul back of the net. Lupul stops behind the goal. Now can't get it past the forward, the defenseman James Wisniewski, to get it in front of the net. Kadri tied up. Down go a couple of Blue Jackets, but the puck controlled by Boone Jenner. Lupul into the slot. And a weak shot there by Raymond went over top of the net. Carl Gunnarsson back to Raymond. A long shot well wide of the goal. And the rebound will come all the way to center ice. Elon Phaneuf playing it up on the wing courtesy Gunnarsson. Raymond unable to get it in deep. Back come the Blue Jackets with Johansson. Dropping there and a pass by Umberger into the slot is knocked away. And... Out come the Maple Leafs, led again by Mason Raymond. Laid down into the corner and around behind the net. Raymond into the four check, can't come up with it. And it is quickly brought by Dubinsky to center ice, or excuse me, by Clout, and sent into the Toronto zone. Behind the net, a centering pass, controlled and back to the blue line. Clout with a shot, that's blocked, the rebound is pushed ahead, and the Leafs break it out now with Kessel with speed. He's in across the line with Van Riemsdyk. Kessel walking the line, in it goes for Bozak, it'll go! And Bobrovsky was doing the reverse snow angel and it went wide of the goal! Pretty good, Joe. And you're right. And I think it hit him, too. Leaves back in their own zone. Morgan Riley tried to shoot it in but hit a leg. And brought back the other way by Gabrick. Gabrick puts the brakes on, sent into the corner. Bozak with an excellent chance. We'll wait to see the replay and see if Bobrovsky with the reverse snow angel actually did get a piece of it. That rolls in front of the leaf net. Behind the net for Felino. Bank pass to the blue line for Johnson. Over on the near side, Savard. Weak shot, but into the slot area. And Isimov couldn't get a shot through. Cleared to the line, but not out. Right back behind the net. Grabbed off now by Jake Gardner. Gardner is just going to flip it out into the center ice area. Savard and Johnson exchanging the puck, allowing teammates to get to the bench for a change. Now Johnson backhands it in. Gardner take the play behind the net, finds a little room to get it ahead at center. Being able to penetrate there was Troy Bodie. 13.23 to go in the third period. 2-0, Columbus. Into the center ice area and clipped in by Latesta. Branson pushed it up along the wall. Gets it freed up then for Kuhleman. Bodie can't find some room. And the Keaton sends it back into the center ice area before it is shoveled in over the line by Cody Branson. Blue Jackets with it once more. Wisniewski will launch it high to center ice. Knocked down by McKenzie. And it's offside at the Toronto Blue Line. 
goals from Kraut and Anisimov on the board, 2-0 Columbus. Anything for Hockey is brought to you by Molson Canadian, diehard fan and proud partner of the Leafs. Well, it was a big part of the game. It was very early here as the Toronto Maple Leafs almost opened the scoring. But a terrific play here by Johansson comes behind the goaltender Bobrovsky and saves a goal. And then from there, it was a pretty even game until the second period when the Columbus Blue Jackets came up with a couple of goals. And up gets the puck out, but it's played right back in again, and Umberger is hustling in there after it. Umberger against the boards. Jenner now around back of the net. And it is Carl Gunnarsson turning with it, playing it up the middle, and Manuf quickly on to Van Riemsdyk, but off his stick as it blocked. Brought down into the zone by Johansson, and then sought down the ice, and an icing charge will come here against Columbus. If you drive on snow and ice, you don't want all-season tires. You want all-weather tires. Get Nokian's most advanced all-weather tire, the WRG3 at Cal Tire. All right, Johansson, we just talked about him, how he saved a goal, but this young player is becoming a real good hockey player. 24 goals in the season. You mentioned he's had three against the Toronto Maple Leafs this year. Pardon me, two again, and he's been great. As it's flipped up into the crowd off the stick in the faceoff coming in the center ice area, and the absence of Orton and Gabrick for much of this season, a lot of the offensive responsibility is and laid at his feet. He's got five goals in his last seven games. And you can find him with Cam Atkinson, another young player that's really produced for this Columbus group with 18 goals also. Savard back in his own zone. It's the puck up on the near boards and it is flipped in by Dubinsky. Reimer into the corner and now Mason Raymond, a cross ice pass to Spring Franson. Branson trying to return the favor. Raymond in with a shot, and about a foot off the ice, it's gloved by Bobrovsky, who made the save of the period with that popping reverse snow angel move that kept uh, the Leafs from scoring as Bozak was able to creep in. 11.50 to go in the third period. And we should take that back and have a look at that, Joe, because he made an incredible save, and it might have given the Leafs a little bit of a little bit of life early here in the third. Kadri has broken his stick. Lupel trying to come out from behind. Franson at the blue line. Peppers it behind the net. Clarkson slowed it up. Gardner pinches. Lupel around behind the goal. Stops. Clarkson trying to help him out. Back to the blue line. It goes to Gardner. Over to Franson. Wrist shot, but no traffic in front of Bobrovsky. That's like picking cherries. Yeah, it's been the way that the Leafs have been able to really play all see all game long. They've had very few chances, but they did have this one on Bobrovsky here. And here's this snow angel you're talking about. Van Riemsdyk does a nice job going to the net. <laughs> what an acrobatic save that is on Bozak. And this is how Columbus have been boxing out the Leafs all game long, so they've not been able to get in front of Bobrovsky, and if there was a rebound, they have not been able to get to them. They've done a marvelous job on the Leafs' big line, who since December the 29th are all in the top 10 in scoring in the National Hockey League. Kessel is number one with 34 points. JVR and Bozak tied for ninth with 24 points apiece. But tonight, there's been nothing. Here's Riley running out of room, and the puck runs out of real estate as well as it's cleared into the Columbus bench. You get into these situations and you're frustrated as a team. You often try to do things all by yourself. And here's the youngster, Riley, coming up the ice. One, two, three, Blue Jackets right on him. And no puck support for Riley either to give him an option coming through the neutral zone. And Columbus nice play. Is, yeah, he has. And Columbus has really clogged up the neutral zone. And for the most part, their puck possession has been much greater than the Maple Leafs in this game throughout it. Wisniewski bounces the shot in wide of the Toronto goal. Willeman took his man to the end boards. It comes back to the blue line to Jack Johnson. Near side for Wisniewski. And that shot was deflected wide of Reimer. 
Here's Kuhlman ahead for Raymond. Raymond banks it to himself down into the corner. He'll get there, but it is chipped by Wisniewski. And up come the Blue Jackets to center ice. Calvert taking his time, and he's just going to launch a bouncing shot in to the side of uh, Reimer. And with Polino in the doorstep, he's going to scoop it up and hold for a faceoff. Reimer had to be very sharp moments ago is that Columbus had done a nice job in the turnbacks and they find the points when they do it. They didn't score the goal that way. And Reimer had to find this puck through traffic. And Latestu again, who already screened Reimer for a goal in the second period, almost did it again. Face off one by Toronto. And it is brought on by Kadri. Kadri's across the line, trying to center. Goes behind the net for Lupo. Now out in front, chipped back to the blue line for Gunnarsson. Back in for Kadri, off the heel of his stick. Anisimov. Through all of this, the Leafs are one shot away from maybe getting back into this hockey game and getting a little more energy attached to it. They need that. They're not even winning any battles on one-on-one -on -one play. Columbus has won the majority of them in this game. That's one of the reasons why they have the puck all night. A shot from the blue line and a pad save made there by Reimer. There's another battle one. Here's Polino with it again. Back to the blue line. Shot by Nikitin is steered wide by Reimer. Carl Gunnarsson. Had it hit a leg. Now is finding some skating room. Decides to hold on as the Leafs and the Jackets are changing. And it is Bozak with the big line out there, and they need to get something going as Kessel makes a nifty little move to gain some skating room. He's across the line, dropping four. Gleason, but it's offside. 9-13 to play, third period, 2-0 Columbus. Welcome back to the Air Canada Centre. Latter moments of the third period. It's now time to live the game with the new windows. The uh, former Andre Sekera. Now Andre Sekera scored one of the season's spectacular goals out in Anaheim last night. He held the puck for so long we actually had to speed it up. The offensive-minded defenseman held on to the puck for exactly 23 seconds before being able to score absolutely incredible as a confident Sekera or Sekera protected the puck until he was able to get his 10th goal of the season. Live the game with the new windows. One device for everything in your life. Well done, Mr. Hendrick. You sped that up perfect. Well, whatever. This week, next week. Into the corner. Center passes. Oh, backhand by Cadre. Went by. Put up at the blue line. A shot is snared by Bobrovsky. They've had their chances in the third. Cadre there. And then the chance from Bozak earlier, but it is still a shutout being tossed by Sergei Bobrovsky. Oh, a good pitch here by the Maple Leafs. Gets this play alive. And the puck just rolls right off the stick of Nazem Kadri as he goes to his back end. Good initial move. Bobrovsky stays right with him. Bobrovsky was across. Kadri had to get that elevated. And as he said, it rolled off his stick. Branson, Gardner, turning back in his own zone. Near side for Kessel. And the Blue Jackets are four checking just one player as Gardner carries to the line and in. Gardner with a shot and into the chest, and Bobrovsky has no problem with that. And he will hold on. The former Vesna Trophy winner from a year ago, 25 years of age. And a big trade from Philadelphia. And the Flyers have been looking for goaltending ever since. Well, he's had a lot of help tonight. He's been steady. I thought early he let a few rebounds out, but that's not been the case the last couple of periods. But again, the Leafs with a lot of perimeter shots, and they don't seem to be able to get into the inside on this Columbus defense. Johnson got it ahead. Latestu steers it into the Toronto zone, and Calvert is quickly onto it. Around behind the net, dug free by the Maple Leafs and fed on to Kuhleman. Kuhleman drops for Smith. Trevor Smith in over the line. Smith from a sharp angle. Not wide of the goal then by Bobrovsky. It's in behind the goal line. Smith had it in his skates and then was lifted off his skates. Savard. Heads to center and backhands it down into the Toronto zone. 
Morgan Riley leading the rush to center. He'll dump it in deep and then go roaring in there after it. Stops behind the goal. He centered. Sweeping attempt by Lupel didn't work. And now here's Cadbury with it again. Vasek Cadbury with a shot that is blocked. Side of the goal once more. The Leafs trying to play it back to the blue line, but Riley had headed for a change. This allows Felino into the zone, but his pass was in behind Anisimov. Leafs bring it back in over the line with Lupo. Drop pass, and a shot goes off a leg. It bounds to the near side for Felino to restore, and he'll play it off the back side of uh, Gabrick, and it's down into the Toronto end. Ransom behind the net, now just 6.50 to play in the third period. Tying as an ally of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Drop pass, Lupo! And he got a good shot away, but that was off the blocking glove of Bobrovsky. Jack Johnson behind the goal. Plays it out into the center ice area. Here's a chance now for Johansson. Rolling it into the slot area. Shot stopped by Reimer. Another shot stopped by Reimer. Still free in front of the goal. Reimer stopped that. He's down again. And he's got a hold of it. You love James Reimer's battle. And in these situations, it comes to the forefront as he is left absolutely all by himself here. As everybody's puck chasing, there's one. Here comes two. And look at everybody. Instead of taking the man, everybody's fishing for the puck. And the only one that should be fishing for the puck is Reimer. And he does a good job here. As twice he stays with it and makes terrific saves. Not for him. This game might be even uglier than it's been. A draw to the right, played around on the boards to the near side. Weimer is 2-2 two and two lifetime against the Blue Jackets. Side of the net, it comes back into the slot, a shot. And that was blocked in front, and now here is Kuhlman skating to center. Off of Clarkson, sticking into the zone. Obrovsky with two shutouts this season, and one of them against the Leafs. And he's 5.57 away from making it back-to-back. -back. Clarkson. Works to the half boards. Can't get it back to Panofni. Lee, and it's out into the center ice area in a high stick. Making contact. Five minutes, 44 seconds to go in the third. And the Blue Jackets lead two to nothing. Proud and Anisimov have the goals. Two nothing for Columbus. Let's find out what Ivanka and Brendan have going for Connected after the game. Thank you very much, Joe. Less than 48 hours till the NHL trade deadline. Lots of buzz and rumors flying around. Yes, maybe even the Ottawa Senators captain moving. We'll tell you about it. Lots of that coming up on the show. Back to the game. Thank you, gang. We'll look forward to that. You might even tune in to Jimmy Kimmel tonight. <laughs> knows what by <laughs> The mayor is what he used to be. Yes. <laughs> well, he's gray. There's a loose puck in the slot area. And a shot into the bread basket of Reimer and held for a face-off. And Johansson with a quick shot from about uh, 45 feet out. Off the block, Norton skates to the middle of the ice, and there's that shot. Good save again by Reimer. No rebound as Jenner's looking for one right in front of him. Draw to the left of James Reimer. 5.23 to play third period. Jackets lead it two to nothing. Dubinsky lost the draw. Quick up ahead at center for Kessel. He works in over the line. Van Riemsdyk is there, and the pass went off the skate of Bozak. Centering effort, not wide of the goal by Dubinsky. Down goes Van Riemsdyk in an effort to get to his man. And a loose puck to the far side is kept alive momentarily by Gardner, but cleared by Columbus to center. Franson, Van Riemsdyk, shot in over the line. Kessel over on the left wing here. Goes after a puck as it's kept in by a pinching Jake Gardner. Back of the goal, far side, down the boards comes Franson. Knocked into the slot, Gardner waits, shoots, glove save off the glove by 
Bobrovsky. The rebound didn't hurt him. Then another shot this time is secured in the webbing of the catch glove and held for a faceoff. This line still getting chances, the big line, but again, not able to get many shots with traffic in front. And there's another example where Bobrovsky here finds pucks through traffic, although there's very little. And there's no blue jerseys in front of a very good Bobrovsky tonight. Right into the center ice area. Riley gives to Mason Raymond. And Raymond drops it off for Joffrey Lupo. He slides by one, trying to split the defense with four players. Mason Raymond gives the lead some hope. 4.15 to play, third period. And is this what the Leafs needed here? There's some real good speed by Lupo to create the trap, the zone, and then Raymond absolutely rifles it. Raymond starts it off, finds Lupo, but Lupo, Lupo pushes the defense back. Drives the puck to the middle and then dishes it off and goes to the net and Ryan Raymond with a beautiful shot. We got a game now. 17th goal of the season for Mason Raymond. A point shot is stopped by Reimer and the rebound was knocked behind the goal. Morgan Riley draws the additional assist and things have ramped up in the intensity level here now. Blue Jackets playing ahead, tipped in by Calvert. Reimer back of the goal will give it to Paul Ranger who finds Kuhlman who couldn't get it onto his stick cleanly and Ranger will try it again for Dion Phaneuf. Phaneuf turns back, Ranger to the side of the goal around on the boards for Kessel. Chip to the line but not ahead to Van Riemsdyk and it's shot right back in again. Around on the boards for Kessel. Ahead for Van Riemsdyk. Rink wide pass finds Bozak, but he's surrounded. Got a weak shot away, and it bounds wide of the net. Van Riemsdyk into the corner after it. Play to the line and out, and shot in on a delayed offside. And Van Riemsdyk will have to get out. Three minutes and two seconds to go in the third. Jack Johnson turns back in his own zone. Onto the right wing side for David Savar. He shoots it into the leaf zone. Icing waved off, says the linesman. As Dubinsky hustled down the boards to get ahead of the leaf forward. Now the leaf's breaking out with it. A pass ahead for Kadri. He's across the line and in the left wing. Van Riemsdyk around behind the net. Gardner playing it back to the blue line. Fed behind the net again for Lupo. Lupo with Kadri. Kadri takes the puck. Looks for a man back to the point to Franson. Wrist shot is high and wide of the goal. Gardner near side doesn't shoot it. 2.21 to play. We'll keep an eye on Reimer for you. Puck still down in the Columbus zone. Franson dishes it back. Paired back in on the backhand by Kadri. Johnson pressured by Lupo. Puck goes to Raymond. Raymond looking for an outlet. Mason Raymond to the side of the goal. Kadri centers. Bobrovsky holds on. Well, James Reimer sets this up earlier in this period with a couple of big saves when he was left all alone. And here is the play in the third period. One, two, three. And the score is 2 nothing at this point. 3 nothing. game over. But he holds things in, holds the fort, and then Raymond now is giving the Leafs a chance with this late goal in the third period. Face off to the right of Bobrovsky, 2-0-2 to play. Bozak taking the face off, lost it. Savard behind the goal, but Van Riemsdyk is first onto it. Sent around to the near side. Cleared in the backhand by Bozak, but not far enough to get it to Kessel, and it's out into the center ice area. Kessel turning with it now to Bozak across the line. Bozak puts it to the net. Bobrovsky! got caught not knowing that Kessel was behind him. He thought about dropping the puck, but the whistle went. Oh, 
faceoff coming in the Columbus zone. Tonight's game summary brought to you by The Brick. Nobody beats The Brick for furniture, mattresses, appliances, and big screen TV. Uh, two quick goals for the Blue Jackets in the second period. And the way the Leafs were going, that might have been it. But a late goal here. And all of a sudden, it's gone right to the Leafs' legs as they've dominated the last couple of minutes. Played off the boards to center, and Morgan Riley will beat Polino to the puck. Riley pulls away from Polino and gets it up in the left wing to Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk with a shot, and it's wide. Reimer's gone to the net, or to the bench. Here's a chance for Fudeau, flipping it into the side of the goal. Comes in front! Oh, what a chance Bozak had there! And did Bobrovsky get a piece of that? Round behind the net for Jack Johnson. Tied up by Van Riemsdyk. Fed on the boards and Fanuc trying to keep it in, but can't. Out at center ice, Bellino loses it to Riley. He pushes it ahead on a rink-wide pass for Fanuc. He can't come up with it. Off a skate to Bellino. Bellino launches it into the zone. Leafs are in need of either a face-off down there. They've got some tired folks out there, but no time to change. Left wing side, Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk back to the blue line. Fanuc works off the wing. Trying to center, he sent it right through the blue paint. Back to the blue line, Gardner. Now to Kessel. Kessel looking for that quick shot. Deflection in front went wide. Gardner has the loose puck. Cycles it back behind the goal. Kessel in the near corner, trying to center. That bounces to the side of the net. 20 seconds left. But up trying to keep it in. He does. Knocked down on the play. Able to keep it alive for Lupo. Now to Cadbury. Shot blocked. And the Jackets are going to get it out. Nine seconds left. The bench hollering for how much time? Lupo, one last try. Can't get it freed up for a shot. What a block by Wisniewski there, right in the slot. With about 20 seconds to go. And before that, Bozak as well with an incredible chance, and I'm not sure if Bobrovsky got this or not. We'll have a look. As the Leafs do everything but tie it up. Nope, just missed the far side. And of course, the management team can't believe that it didn't go in. So the 67th point of the year for the Blue Jackets as a result of tonight's three stars brought to you by Molson Canadian, diehard fan and proud partner of the Leafs. Sergei Bobrovsky with 28 saves, Nikita Nikitin with an assist and plus one. James Reimer, 31 saves as the third star of the hockey game. Goals from Prout and Anisimov in the second period. Anisimov with the game winner. Mason Raymond with a goal for Toronto in the third. We'll step aside now for Connected. Thanks for watching, everyone.